Hey everyone. <laughs> Good morning. Welcome. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. We just woke up. <laughs> it's, it's not even morning in LA time. Would you like some water, Robin? Oh, I'd be delighted. Would you pour it? Get the Foley. It sure. so good. Here my go. my cup, please. That's someone else's water glass. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to get you a clean one. Mm. Here you go. It sounds really just good. Get it right here. Oops. Sorry, I'm just <laughs> going. <laughs> the clear, refreshing taste of calm water. <laughs> You're terrible. <laughs> terrible at this. Mmm. Ew. Next. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Welcome to the One Punch Man panel. Oh, wait. I'm oh, sorry. Man panel. I'm Max Middleman. I play uh, a Puri Puri. I was gonna say Puri Puri prisoner. Um, and that's uh, Robbie Damon. He plays Jack of All Trades, Moomin Ray, uh, Turquoise Tornado. Uh, and that's Ray Chase. He plays Saitama. I'm oh, just okay. kidding. He plays uh, Puri Puri, and I play Saitama. And I play Moomin Rider. Got it yeah. straight. Hello. That all's over. <laughs> Sleepy dog is the best. <laughs> the best. Robbie, you haven't seen that dog yet. He's I, dressed as Saitama. No. Yeah, he has one the, punch pup. It's so cool. Oh it's my so God. legit. Yeah. Um. So, uh, has anybody been to these two guys' panel this weekend? This is my first panel of the weekends, and the rest of you are completely new. Awesome. That deserves very cool. <laughs> <laughs> um, we're here to answer questions about One Punch Man and other things. Uh, what are some other things that you've been in, Ray? Uh, you might know me as uh, the guy who says, Welch's real great goodness. <laughs> the TV commercials. That's what you're all here for, right? Yeah. Uh, I also play Roy in Fire Emblem. I play Eve in Nier Automata. And I play Noctis in Final Fantasy XV. Have you guys seen the Pop-Tarts commercial where uh, it's Vanilla Latte Pop-Tart is sitting in the talk show seat and uh, I can't remember what happens, but uh, something crazy happens and I think he's, he gets set on fire or something. Uh, that's me. And then there's another, there's another Pop-Tarts commercial where I play um, uh, root, root beer, uh, uh, A and W yeah. root beer pop tart, where he goes into the movie theater and he's like, oh, hi, I'm A and W root beer pop tart, and then there's another pop tart that's Orange Crush, uh, so that's me too. Anyway, so um, uh, other than that, I'm uh, that's pretty much it. I mean, those are my two biggest roles, and um, oh, and uh, Ryuji in Persona Five, uh, and. Uh, Leo and in Fire Emblem, Caden in Fire Emblem, Forrest in Fire Emblem, Gray in Fire Emblem, and Gordon in Fire Emblem. Uh, and King in Seven Deadly Sins, and that's some of them. Have you ever guys been watching TV or listening to the radio and heard someone go, the new me pick two for Biggity Boo Boo? The McDonald's commercials? That's me, I do a bunch of McDonald's I sell you guys diabetes. <laughs> Someone's at McDonald's exec in the audience well, he's not getting hired anymore. <laughs> um, I also play uh, with Ray in Final Fantasy. I play Prompto. Uh, I, uh, with Max in Persona 5, I play Akechi. Uh, and I also, with Max in, on Disney XD right now, this morning, uh, I play uh, Peter Parker Spider-Man in... Uh, <laughs> And uh, Max is my best buddy, uh, Harry Osborne. Yeah. 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 <laughs> nothing, nothing could go wrong with our relationship. <laughs> we're gonna be best friends forever. forever. <laughs> uh, but we're here for One Punch Man. So um, this is a Q and A. Uh, you've got the Q. We've got the, the A. a. You got the Q. We got the A. We got the Q. We got the A. We got the. Right. Um, so we'll open the floor up, we'll pick you guys. If you if have a question. Got, well, there's a microphone there, so they can line up. If, if, would you rather? Uh, sure. No? Yes? Yeah. Well, okay, well, we'll pick them in the audience. You and then we'll... You seem to have a preference, Rob. <laughs> you don't want much, man. You pick. 
This is your rodeo. Do you have a preference, Ray? It looks like Brian's already hard at work putting a new battery. <laughs> no, what if he's taking out the battery? He's like, all right, well, I guess I'm not appreciated here. Uh, so, because of that. And I'm, Sounds I'm, good. I don't want to speak for all of us, but um, if you have a non One Punch Man related question, we're glad to answer those too. Sure, right? sure. If you have One Punch Man related questions, line up at the microphone and we'll start answering them. Yeah. Uh, if, this is going great. Hey, so guys. Uh, <laughs> it's going to be a long 45 minutes. Um, Trust me, we can do this idiot stuff for another 45 minutes. Oh, yeah. But you have questions and it's better that way. All okay. Hi, what's your name? Alex. Hey, Alex. Hey. Nice to meet y'all. Nice, nice to meet you. Um, That's right, we're in Texas. Yeah. We just reminded <laughs> Awesome. I just really want to know, have y'all started on season two? No. 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 We're always the last to know. I mean, they have to not only animate it, but the Japanese actors have to do it first, and then uh, everybody has to watch the Japanese version first, and then compare it to the English version. We'll <laughs> <laughs> oh, so, don't yeah. forget they got to argue about it for six months. They have to argue about it, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's the typical problem. Yeah. Though, not always these days. Uh, simul dubs. I simul mean, dubs. That's really a thing that's happening now, which yeah. is pretty exciting. Yeah. Uh, I don't think it'll happen with One Punch Man because it's on Cartoon Network, but that's just me talking, uh, pulling stuff out of the air. Sure. But we have not started on it. No. No. Mm -mm. Oh, cool. I can play music. <laughs> Hi, Julianne. You can move the mic down. Someone get yeah. an Apple box. <laughs> <laughs> okay, my question is, um, out of your One Punch characters, um, if you were a drink or a mixed drink, how would you be made? <laughs> oh, so if you were to order the Moo Men Rider, how would it be served? Well, it would definitely start with just muddled fruit. Just, <laughs> just beating it senseless. Uh, and then uh, it would probably be like a, a soji, like mixed drink, something uh, weak and ineffectual, but kind of gets the job done. Uh, maybe green, maybe like, a, I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna do a, a, a uh, melon soju cocktail with muddled melon in the bottom. Nice. That's the wow. movement rider. Yeah. yeah. The Saitama would be the uh, the one fruit punch. <laughs> <laughs> and, and for Puri Puri Prisoner, he's a strong man with a feminine side. So it would be a stein, a beer stein filled with whiskey <laughs> with tons of umbrellas around it. Just like a halo of umbrellas. <laughs> It would be amazing. Would you believe we've never actually answered this question before? Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I think the, uh, the Saitama 2 could also just be a shot of just grain alcohol. Oh, just yeah. One, yeah. Just one Against shot, that's it. Yeah. It's over. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Hi, what's your name? What's your question? Hi, my name's Adam. Uh, my question is, uh, with the manga, there was a crossover where you guys do with DBZ. Would you do another one with, like, My Hero Academia? I'll do whatever they tell me to do. Let's <laughs> start drawing it, right? Yeah. Yeah, that'd be yeah. very cool. That's Thank a you. great idea. <laughs> Hi, what's your name? What's your question? Um, my name is um, Petra. When you guys auditioned for One Punch Man, did you guys audition for different characters than who you ended up as? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I auditioned for five characters. Yeah, so did I. It was, yeah, there was a whole big push at the very beginning. They had uh, Speed of Sound, Saitama, Bang was in there, and Genos. Genos, Genos was in there, yeah. So Ooh, that was the first round. And a Mai Mask. And, uh, and all the girls got all of the girl auditions, <clears throat> which was one yeah. character. <laughs> which was amazing how few girls are on that yeah, show. Yeah, it's yeah. nuts. Um, and, uh, and then we did another round again for minor characters. Um, and that was when I booked uh, Dr. Genus. First, and then Puri Puri Prisoner when he came in episode six. But tell them what you did for Puri Puri Prisoner. I wanted to be Puri Puri so bad that I sent in an audition before they'd even sent auditions out. An on-camera audition where he dressed up. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I should say he dressed down as the character. I down, ripped off my boyfriend's sweater. Um, and I, I sent it in to the casting director and said, hey, if you're ever casting this, Please think of me, Fester. <laughs> and it ended up working. Yeah, yeah, it was okay. Did they tell you right away, or did they wait to tell you until volume two came out? Oh, yeah, no. She just, uh, mommy just said thank you, and then <laughs> waited for three more months. Yeah. Okay, okay. Thank you, Petra. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>
<laughs> what is this playlist? It's really, it's just one song, and I can, it, we'll get to the end of it by the end of the... <laughs> That's great. All right, how are we doing, guys? Hey! Good. All right, my name's Joe. I uh, just have one question. I know it's like all over the internet and blogs and whatnot, but you or Goku? Who do you think? Sai. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. And why? And why? The the one <laughs> one punch man. <laughs> one punch man. <laughs> In one punch, he defeats all his enemies. <laughs> What about the last like episode or everything? He, he, he wasn't serious. He yeah, he did hold back, but I mean, no, nope. no seriously. <laughs> no. <laughs> one punch. He was being lazy, <laughs> and he's the one punch All right. man. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Hi. Hello. Uh, my name is Brandon. Hi. Hey, Brandon. I just would love to know what. What do you think Saitama would say if, like, in the Marvel Universe, uh, like, the Hulk is going, like, going crazy in, the, in like, Las Vegas? Yeah. And then, like, Saitama just walks in. I think he'd this have a, that. That's a very specific scenario. I think, yeah. I think he'd, like, watch the Hulk destroying everything and have that derpy look on his face. <laughs> like, just really happy that that's going on. Um, because he'd be at the penny slots, just okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, I think he'd be pretty good friends with the Hulk. I think I think so. I think uh, he he'd ride the Hulk like a, like a horse, and, <laughs> and then uh, uh, afterwards put him in his place. He wants to know what you would say. What I would say to the Hulk? Well, yeah. you're riding him like a horse. Uh, sure, I'd be like Saitama Smash. <laughs> <laughs> thanks, Brandon. You're Thank right. you. Cheers. Uh, thanks again for that message yesterday. Oh, yeah, for sure. <laughs> Sorry, hi. Hi. What's your name? What's your question? Um, my name's Tara. Hi, Tara. Uh, Tara. I was gonna ask, who is your guys' favorite character in One Punch Man? Besides our own. Yeah. yeah. My favorite villain <laughs> is Crab Lante. <laughs> 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 it's so stupid. Um, and my favorite character overall has got to be Puri Puri Prisoner. Oh. <laughs> We've had this question before, and also honestly, my favorite character is Saitama. I think he's really, he, he, he has a great real world theme, which is you can do it if you work hard enough, which is great. Not a lot of anime has that. It's a lot of, oh, you were born the hero or something, but Saitama just did push ups. That's all you gotta do. <laughs> They love each other so much. My favorite character is no one. No, no one. No. We're supposed to be a team. Uh, my favorite character is. Uh, uh, I, I do like both of your characters a lot. Uh, I'm gonna pick my favorite villain, which is uh, my mask. I'm really excited to see where that goes. Or is he? He is. Yes. And I haven't even read the manga. He just drips it. He's yeah. just gross. So gross. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Oh, thank you. <laughs> oh, you thought it was gonna. I, I'm not gonna give you the drop. Not yet. Not yet. Hey. Drop. <laughs> Alright. You delivered. You delivered. Okay. So. Hi, Philip. Hey, Philip. Um, so. Oh, one thing I want to say is that. Moon Moon Rider is a one true hero. Yeah, <laughs> he is. Yeah, he is. And I just want to ask if Moon Moon Rider was to, you know, go to the next power level, mm -hmm. what would his upgrade be? Uh, he, you know, I, do, I, I get asked this question pretty often. I don't think that you can do that. I don't think you can give him anything more or you ruin the character. But everybody wants it, so I would love to see like full sweet like common rider like badass Akira motorcycle. Yeah. Like I think that would be sweet, where he was just like the super awesome motorcycle guy with like real armor. Maybe get some training. We can put up some kind of a fight, but it'll never ever 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 ever. <laughs> so uh, if you, uh, please send your fan fiction to Robbie Damon at Twitter. I'll read it. 
maybe. <laughs> uh, yeah, I think that would be it. I thought it would just be a new paint job. Like, oh, just, <laughs> right. He's like, just, I'm just up up right to the next just, level, and he's just like at home painting his cosplay. <laughs> no, 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 he, just, he just paints his bicycle. His bicycle, red. Just yeah. a little faster. Yes, that's and when he's painting it, he's like, Justice Splash! Oh! Yeah. Good pun, good pun. Yeah, or maybe bicycle bicycle or uh, bicycle cards in the tires. Uh, <laughs> oh. Thanks, Philip. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Uh, uh, uh. Oh. Hi, I'm Sam. Hi, Hi Sam. Sam. The creator of the hats. <laughs> Did you get a hat, Robbie? No. Oh. Not yet. I was late. Oh. Um, so I have one question. Uh, if you could voice anyone else in there, who would it be? Hmm. <sighs> I could voice anyone. Well, I already said my favorite character. Yeah. Um, I just think he's funny. I don't know if I, I would I would be right. Good for it, for yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, um I mean uh, <laughs> I would voice. <laughs> I would want to voice Janos. Yeah. Oh, yeah. absolutely. Sure. Yeah. yeah. I just think he's so tragic. <laughs> I, do. Yeah. I think Janos is so tragic because arguably he's the next strongest hero, but he'll always be useless. Yeah. Yeah. Like that's so much worse than someone like Moomin Rider or any of the other heroes. Mm -hmm. yeah. To be second best is the yeah. first yeah. worst. Yeah. Uh, yeah. No matter what he does, it does, it never matters because it's always Saitama that's got to come in and, and save him, no matter how awesome he is. And I would want to be uh, Deep Sea King because it's the same voice as Pori Pori. <laughs> And the nipple hearts. That's, a, that's nipple a high hearts. Nipples <laughs> have hearts on their nipples. It's so ridiculous. They fight each other. Mm. Very strange. I kind of like, I'm not going to say the name right, uh, Giryunginshup. 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 Yeah. Uh, he's the guy with the tentacles at the end. <clears throat> the like psychic guy. guy, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Who does him? <laughs> Next question. <laughs> Thank you. Ready? Oh. <laughs> anyway. Hi. Hi, I'm Sally. Hey, Sally. Hi, Sally. First, I'd like to say One Punch Man is objectively the best anime I've ever seen. It's hey. I agree. Oh. I agree. <laughs> that was a controversial <laughs> question. <laughs> you're, really, you're in the right place to say that. Yes. Unfortunately, someone already asked a similar question. I've had a very spirited argument with a friend of mine. Saitama. <laughs> <laughs> but All Might from Boku no Hero. Oh. oh. I don't know who that is, <laughs> but frankly, Saitama. I do agree with you. <laughs> what is the what is their power? I don't know their power. Uh, All Might. He's a uh, from Book No Hero. He's like the greatest hero in the world. Mm -hmm. uh, giant Captain America vibe. Yeah. What's uh, his? All, his ultimate attack is called literally the Detroit Smash. Uh, his ultimate attack is United the Detroit States Smash. Smash. And what does okay, it do? I, I haven't seen all of it, all of it yet, but it's basically giant. Uber punch, like. Oh, sick! Like, but he's a savage. physical. He's a, okay. He's a physical based hero. Though. I don't think you ever beat Saitama. No. You don't. The only way you can beat the the stro the world is through something other than physical. You need like a Bizarro Saitama. He something has, that cancels him out. <laughs> even because if you have Bizarro Superman, Superman's always going to beat Bizarro Superman. Yeah. And even if you have like, um, oh, even if you have the character that killed Superman, uh, uh, Doomsday. Yeah. Right. Superman still comes back to life and Team State gets uh, ch chained up and shot in his face. Yeah. So it's, if it's physical versus physical, but you know who can beat Superman? Does anybody know? What's what's one Superman's weakness other than kryptonite? Magic. Magic, right? So in order to beat Saitama, Saitama, Saitama's never been able to fight somebody non-physically. So for someone really to be able to compete with Saitama, they need some sort of otherworldly power or, out, or outsmart him. <laughs> yes. Yeah, so, so a fight between Saitama and Mewtwo. Yeah. Well, no, because he beats Karuganshu. He he yeah, is he, able to, to beat Psychic Beast. Yeah. It's oh, magic. It's got to be like Tatsumaki. It's got to be Terrible Tornado. I would I would want to see a fight between the two of them. Yeah. Yeah. Happened in the world. Something happened. Over you guys are nerds. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. I can't. I was trying to look for another song. And, <laughs> and, uh, you guys want to hear my Nintendo spot that I just did? <laughs> for Nintendo. <laughs> 
Uh, I'll play it because it's on right now. Here it goes in three, two, one. He's still scrolling through yeah. YouTube. <laughs> Three days ago, it said the uh, here, three, four, wow, they put out a lot of videos. What is here your... Here it is, found it. To share the world of your famous <laughs> movie. <laughs> what's your name and what's your question? Wait, what happened? Were you recast? No. <laughs> <laughs> what's your name? <laughs> I can't hear you. Is this the first time you just went and got No, no. <laughs> this spot right here. I'll play it afterwards. Uh, my name is Mason, and my question hey, is, I don't know how well you know like, the full extent of how everything works in both universes, but I've had a boiling question inside me ever since I watched the show. Who would win in a fight? I know we've had like three of these already, but I know we got to know. Moving Rider versus uh, wait, Yamcha. Moving Rider uh, uh, versus Yamcha? There's a movement in the back. Do we have a Yamcha in the house? Do we have a Yamcha? No? No! Oh, I guess Moving Rider wins! Yes! 99% of success is showing up. And Moving Rider showed up today. If you want a real answer to your question, I'm sorry, there's no way Moomin would have a chance against Yamcha. Yeah, Early yeah. Yamcha DBZ was like a, a competitor. It wasn't until everybody else started leveling up around him that he became the great punching bag. So, uh, I, I just, I just, well, but Moomin Rider hasn't died yet. I don't think Moomin Rider works out though. You know what I mean? Like, I think he just, he oh, does cardio he does. on his bike. Sure. That's it. He works out. He doesn't, like, lift. He just has, doesn't, he was not genetically gifted. Go lift, bro. Go lift, bro. Go lift. I gotta All get about it. the lift. Hey, you guys wanna hear my Nintendo spot? Yeah. <laughs> Here he goes. Play all your favorite games with Nintendo 2DS. You can journey with Mario and Luigi in new... <laughs> anyway, that's... <laughs> Alright, everybody has to play a commercial by the end of this panel. Find your Welch's spot, right? Oh yeah, I'll find it. My name is Anthony, and my question is, what cartoon do you guys audition for that never got? That never got? Yeah. Oh, I don't even know if I can say I signed NDAs. I, wait, wait, something wait, that's you mean already... something that we actually worked on that never oh, became a something show? Or anything that we auditioned for? Oh. Anything that never came to oh. to be that yeah. we wish had. Because yeah. we've, we've all done pilots that yeah. have not gone through. I've done many, and that's always disappointing. Um, but uh, stuff we auditioned for that we never got, that we were like super disappointed about? Yes. Like everything that I don't get? <laughs> um, yeah, every day we do... That Welch is spot go! <laughs> Who got that? Actually, Max and I, you, we did go head-to-head -head on Welch's spot. I remember that. Uh, As a Dave and Dave, I yeah. suppose we did, and yeah. you stacked the deck for I yourself. I stacked the deck for myself. <laughs> this is true. It actually worked out the Welch's thing. They brought us all in, and ten people in a row didn't show up, so I kept, they were like, well, Ray, do you want to give it another shot? And so I just went in ten times to audition, so I really did stack the deck. It was just pure luck. Mm -hmm. um, well, the pilot thing, for sure. Like, my, the biggest turning point in my, my career for me, I was at, was about, uh, gosh, I came out in 2007, so it was about halfway through my time in, in LA, and I had been out here for five years, been working for about three in voiceover, and I had, uh, I've told this story before, I had six pilots in, in one year, and uh, all animated shows, and three of them were good, three of them were garbage, and one of them, like, I had the best shot, and it got canned too. So it, like, it crushed me, I was like, I, this is it, I can't do this, it's my time, I, I'm 30 years old, I have to get my own show, I have to be, get, a, get a lead. So I went back to basics, I went to Anime Expo, and walked around, and I re remembered anime, and then uh, I went back to basics, I started reaching out to internet uh, animators, and uh, found one that I thought a show that looked like cool, and I wrote an email, I was like, hey dude, I'll do your voices for this, like, let me be in the short, and that show ended up being Breadwinners, which yeah! say, say what you say what you want about it, but uh, I, I love that show, and that short got in a bidding war with Nickelodeon, Disney, and Cartoon Network, and turned into 80 episodes. And that was something because I was just on the internet, and I was like, I got I got to do something other than the traditional studio route. And that stuff happens all the time. Like you could be in a really cool show that just never goes anywhere, or you could. There are people that do shows. I have a friend who did like an ep like 12 episodes of a series and got ended up getting replaced. Uh, I mean that stuff. 
it happens. It's all part of our uh, career. And I'll tell you this, I just found out recently, um, Max and I, like I said, are in the new Spider-Man, on Spider-Man, and I found out at Comic-Con when the VP of development for Marvel Animation told me that I was second place for Ultimate Spider-Man. So Drake Bell beat me for that. Wow. So, so I found that out and I was like, oh. That would have been cool. <laughs> I'm, like, I'm glad it's happening now, but it would have been much cooler when I was 30! <laughs> but, uh, you know, I, so there's stuff like that all the time. Yeah. yeah. By the way, uh, Chris Angel will be Saitama. Chris Angel? Angel? I Matt met the guy. Free? I met the guy. He would never be Saitama. <laughs> never! Yes. Yeah, yeah. This is a Welch's commercial in which I play all the characters. <laughs> Just... You will just conquer grapes and trained all season to help support healthy hearts. No, it's heart health time! Heart health! Let's make some 100% grape juice! Grape juice! I can't just panic back and forth. Just 100% grape juice. Real grape goodness. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, no, I gotta find one. <laughs> Alright, next question. Hi, I'm Noelle. Hi, Noelle. Hi, Noelle. Um, I have a question. Um, if there was an official crossover between One Punch Man and Mob Psycho 100. Mm. Um, do you, who do you think would win in a fight, Mob or Tornado of Terror? Oh. Ooh, that's a good question. Well, it depends on whether Mob has his... Is he at 100 yet? 100. Yeah, so 100 Mob? No. Oh, man, that's a tough question. I would say Tornado of Terror because she's a little more controlled. She knows how to use her powers, whereas Mob is still kind of just learning and figuring it out. Yeah. Um, so we'll see where Mob goes when, uh, 30 years from now, when it's Mob Psycho 1000. <laughs> <laughs> Good question. Mob Psycho 9000, Mob Psycho over 9000. You go uh, ahead, play it. This is uh, a Robbie commercial. Let's see, uh, this is Katy Perry for Walmart. <laughs> What? For incredible sound, get Monster in tin can headphones, all going back for just $119.95. And pick up Katy Perry's limited edition Zine Pack Deluxe CD Prism on October 22nd. Walmart. <laughs> That's the best button I could have hoped for. <laughs> Why are there two Hornogs? Walmart. Got nothing to do with it. It's Katy Perry in a golden <laughs> semi truck. Oh, and she goes, okay. <laughs> First time we've ever done that. Yeah, yeah. Played our old commercials. Yeah, yeah, it's very fun. Uh, you know what I really, you know what I, what, to go back to the other question, uh, like a, something. I never auditioned for it, but I always wanted to be the GameStop guy, the guy who's like GameStop powered power players. players. <laughs> <laughs> I do all the Ubisoft stuff for GameStop, and I just do that guy's voice. Like Ubisoft. <laughs> 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 What's your name? What's your question? You can call me Echo. Hi, Echo. And I have a question for the inner Prompto and Noctis within you both. Great. <laughs> so Max Tuesday, plays Tread Furia in Kingsley. <laughs> <laughs> so if you have a question for Tread, hit one now. Tread's about to answer your question. <laughs> and I got a request. So, question. On a scale of two, one to uh, marriage, how badly do you ship a Noctis and Prompto together? Oh. And, Prompto. Can you please do the, the lovely charm? Ba, 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 ba. Mm. <laughs> I've never done that before in my life. Uh, <laughs> can you box it when you do it? Uh, okay. You know, yes, I do. Okay. Uh, but let's answer her question. Oh. Uh, Pronto and Noctis are best friends. While they spend a lot of time in a tent together sleeping, uh, they are not romantically engaged. Uh, Noctis loves Luna, and Prompto loves Cindy. And are you sure about Prompto just loving Cindy? Because, I mean, come on. <laughs> this is the canon answer, and as I am canon, uh, that is what I will say. <laughs> I am also a, a canon. Yeah. And I, if there were a single line, in the entire game that intimated that maybe that would be the case, then I would agree with it. But I think we are so detached from fraternal love in our Western culture that we cannot look at the love between two men as anything but gay. And I think that when we started this game, we were told specifically from Japan that this game was about brotherly love. So the canon answer is zero. Do I love all the cute yaoi people said me? Sure. Yeah. Uh, I think that's the cool 
cool thing about a piece of art. You can put whatever you want on it. So if you think that's fun and sexy to sh for a little promptus action, go for it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I, of course, of course. And there's plenty of fuel there to, to, mm -hmm. to fuel that fire. Oh, yeah. So if you like it, you keep on liking it. But uh, the canon answer is uh, zero, yeah. unfortunately. We're yeah. being filmed right now. We always <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. One, two, three, four. Hi there. Hi, my name is Kristen. Nice Hi, to meet Kristen. you. I have a question, um, or two questions actually. Um, what uh, What do y'all do in preparation, or do you have like a certain ritual to get prepared to be in character for whatever character that you're playing? Mm -hmm. And what is the most difficult part about uh, voice acting? <laughs> They're, they're kind of the same answer, which is we don't know what is going to happen when we go in to uh, record. Sometimes with an anime, if we can watch the Japanese before, we at least know, okay, here's what the character is. Ready? <laughs> so good. Um, but most of the times, we, we have to wing it every single time, especially for video games. Uh, it, we're lucky, being on Final Fantasy, that we had three years to, to delve into these characters and figure them out. But most of the times, you're just you're shoved into a booth, given a character, or three, usually, and uh, have to figure it out on the fly. So that is, there is nothing you can do to prepare for that, other than do silly voices at home and, uh, and mimic other characters and get ideas and learn accents. Um, that's usually the best way to prepare for the, uh, what the day-to-day what the -day job is. I will warm up my vocal range depending on the character that I may be going in to do. So if I'm doing a younger character, I'll warm up my top range. If I'm doing an older character, deeper character, I'll warm up my lower range. That is the what prep thing that I do. To get into character, mm, there's a lot of improv and line reading skills in this job. Uh, so that's a big part of it, being able to just in the moment snap in from like telling a dirty joke to the engineer to no, going no. back to being like one plus one is two kids you know <laughs> you know what's funny is like i hear that about voice actors and voice actors do that a lot but i also hear i've heard it like anecdotal anecdotal stuff about brian cranston uh, someone who i consider to be one of the you know best actors on the planet that he will do that on set he will have a, a scene where he breaks down crying and then they yell cut and he turns and starts joking with someone and then goes back into character, you know? I think a lot of it's based on your your training and, and what you do as, as an acting technique. Um, if you're in perhaps film or theater or something where, you've, uh, where it's something that's more long form and you're doing memorized scenes and stuff like that, then, um, then a technique that... It, it did this yesterday? I don't know what... I don't know what it is, yeah. Uh, um, it, it, it's, like, it's like there's a creepy monster opening a door behind us. Um, so the, like that would be like something a technique that. But my training's based in like you have an impulse and you have a place to put it and a scenario to put it in and an action to play and you just go and you play moment to moment actions. So I think my my actual actor training really suited me well for this job. Is probably why I ended up in it. And um, and sometimes if you're like working on a voice and you want to prepare, I have uh, reset phrases. So if I find a phrase oh, or yeah. sentence that I really connect to a character with, uh, then I use that. So I was doing this movie and the character's voice was this little guy. He was from New York and he was way up here all the time. And I had to like, how do I, how do I find that? If I slip out of the voice, is a little deeper. And my my reset phrase was, I'm just a friendly little calamari. And I would, <laughs> I would do that, and I would be right back into the voice. I know that's something silly, but I I hear other actors doing it all the time. Yeah. Yeah. So. Yeah, especially when you're doing something that's so far off from your normal speaking voice. Do you have any, yeah. you have any reset phrases? Uh, reset phrases. Do you ever do that? I, a lot of times I will just say yeah a bunch. So if I'm playing a, if I'm playing like a young hero or something, I'll be like yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Like while the beeps are going on, so you do the beeps and I, I'm like yeah, 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 yeah. So anyway, and then I'll go into the line. Uh, that's that's something I do a lot. I've for, tried, yeah. For Puri, it's how he says boy. I would always say, all right, boys. Get right back into it. <laughs> Thanks for the question. Thank you. Well, thank you very much. Cheers. Hi. 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 Uh, Feel free to adjust the mic. <laughs> okay. Uh, my question is, what is y'all's favorite scene? What is y'all's favorite scene in One Punch Man? Um, mine is um, 
the scene in the first episode with um, the Titan. And, uh, spoiler alert, but he's, uh, Saitama's on one shoulder, and the Titan's brother's on the other shoulder, and the brother is like, Brother! There is someone on your shoulder! Kill him! And he goes, Psh! and he kills his brother. And then, uh, he looks and he goes, Brother, no! <laughs> I will laugh every time I say it. <laughs> And the Titan is uh, Bryce Pappenbrook, who plays Aaron in Attack on Titan. That's so good. <laughs> and Vaccine Man is Chris Sabat, who plays Pickle. Pickle, yeah. Pickle. yeah. Pickle. Vaccine Man, the first first villain in the whole series, the one who looks like Piccolo, but he's blue. Uh, they did a little Easter egg, and they put uh, Chris Sabat, who plays Piccolo. Yeah. Uh, I love. Uh, uh, well, there's two. There's two inspiring things. One is one is Moomin Riders. Fighting, uh, fighting Deep Sea King is super, super inspiring. And also when, when Saitama reveals his training regimen and what he does, <laughs> Dr. Genus is just dumbfounded. It has to be science or something crazy like that. Genetical engineering, you know, it's just hard work. I love those. I think my favorite... <laughs> it's only me! Uh, I think my favorite scene, I, two, two, uh, is uh, the Deep Sea King fight, but that's a pat answer for my character. But I also love Saitama's uh, an, a dream fight against the subterraneans. Mm -hmm. I think that's. I think you have to have that scene to explain his existential crisis. You have to have the early too. It has to be early in the series to show what he wants. Because if if his motiv if his motivations are limited, you never understand why he's so apathetic and depressed as a character. You have to know what he wants. He wants that fire. He wants that fight. He wants that challenge. And then it's such a crushing defeat when the real subterraneans reveal themselves after he wakes up from his dream. That's, I think that moment in the series for me is the defining moment. Uh, yeah, that's, that's my favorite scene. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Predator is up here. <laughs> um, Mark. Hi, Mark. Hello, Mark. I just want to go with the commercial vibe. One product for Putty Putty Prisoner, one product for Saitama, and one product for Moomin Rider. <laughs> <laughs> one product. Yeah, one product. What, what they would be cast as, uh, as the spokesperson I suppose, for. I think it would probably be like Kool-Aid, or like, you know, you'd be the Kool-Aid man. <laughs> uh, yeah, about through the wall. Uh, <laughs> uh, I would say, uh, ooh, uh... Preparation H justice pads. Because uh, he's on that bicycle a lot. I'm sure he might have some issues down there. I think uh, Puri Puri would advertise a gay strip club, but as if it was a monster truck rally. Sunday, Sunday, Sunday! Come see the boys! The Puri Puri Princess Festival! <laughs> Thank, well, Thank you. you for your question. Guys, you want to see something cool? Watch this. Hey Siri, what's one billion to the tenth power? Checking my sources. The answer is one zero 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 Sam. Who is your like inspiration as a voice actor, and who would you have as a guest voice actor on the show? A guest voice actor? Well, funny enough, we have a show uh, called Lava. We have a live show that we're doing uh, at 10 o'clock tonight, which is really fun. Yeah. It's improv and sketch and games and prizes. It's going to be weird. And <laughs> 18 and up. Yeah. Uh, Tell your friends. So and that's in this room. Um, but we also do a, uh, a live stream. Uh, by the same name, Lava, loud, annoying, and very annoying. And we have had guests on. Uh, who do we who do we have we had on that's really really um, cool? It'd everyone. be fun to have Chris Parson do some voices. He plays Gladio and Junkrat, oh, and yeah. does a ton of crazy impressions. He was really fun. Yeah, because Chris is such an unassuming guy. Uh, he's when you meet him, you would never know. Just never a dude, know. and then suddenly he's Gladio, yeah. and then suddenly he's Junkrat, and oh. you go, "How are you the same person?" Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And then it's people we looked up to, I looked up to so many like of, of the OG actors. Uh, one of my favorite actors is Roger Craig Smith, um, voice actors, uh, but I also really looked up to Rob Paulson and 
Fred Tatashore and Dee Bradley Baker. Um, if you guys don't know these names, I feel like I should call out some of their characters. Fred Tatashore is Soldier 76 and the Hulk, and uh, Dee Bradley Baker is Klaus the Fish on American Dad, um, as well as Appa and Momo. Uh-huh. And, and, uh, and Grave Mind. Yeah, and yeah he's, mind. he's the Halo. creature voice guy, what he's known for, but he does a ton of other great voices. He just voice. was nominated for an Emmy for Klaus. Nice. Uh, boy, we're meant, it's D. <laughs> D is tuning in right now. Uh-huh. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's Rob, Rob Paulson for me, and a plenty of others, Maurice LaMarche. Uh, there are a lot of, like, sort of living, working icons that we still get to work with. Jim Cummings, I've, I've, for some reason, we've been on a lot of shows together lately, and we've been working a lot together. He didn't know my name four years ago, and now he's like, hey, Robbie, it's, it's people that you get to work with. That's really bizarre. But Rob Paulson, for me, specifically, because he has sort of a character higher-pitched voice, but he's got, to, he was Yakko in Animaniacs, he's Donatello in the TMNT series, and he's a voice that I can always pick out. He has a very distinct voice, but all of his characters are so different. So I feel like for someone that has an easily identifiable voice, I'm not as versatile or sort of um, transformative as some other characters. To be able to voice you can pick out, but to be able to play a bunch of different characters, that's awesome. That's as good as it can get. Did you fix it? Oh, that's so close. What about <laughs> Spill water on it. <laughs> is it because yeah, it it's by the surge protector? Wait, wait. Oh. You have a volume control on your mic. No, 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 it's not that. It was a feedback. We got it. Yay! Yeah. Yeah. And he has missing birthday, Ralph Wilson. Aww. And he just beat throat cancer. A voice out. He had throat cancer. He just, he just, he had got radiation every day for 86 days, targeted radiation on his throat. Wow. And he's back and working. Yeah. Woo. So, yeah. Woo. Look him up. He's, he's a little bit and, and D. Bradley Baker created the site that we send everyone to if they want to be a voice actor. I want to be a, be a voice, voice actor. actor. Com. <laughs> Ray, do you have any icons? Uh, I really enjoy Peter Serafinowicz. He's an awesome English actor who's now doing a lot of on-camera stuff. He plays The Tick in the new Amazon series. Oh, wow. uh, yeah, it's a, it, I'm, I'm so happy for him. He's just a really great guy. And he has some amazing YouTube videos where he does 200 voices, but they're all from fake cartoons. It's so good. <laughs> yeah. It's so good. Oh, some of his old improv, like the, what's the BBC, the BBC one there where the, it was a pretend... Inside uh, the Actors Studio? No, a pretend educational show. Oh, uh, it was like one, two, three, learning or something. It was uh, called Look Around You. Look Around You. Look Around You. And they showed it on Adult Swim for a little yeah, bit. Yeah, oh, such a good so show. Fun. So he's an inspiration. I'm not going to talk anymore. I'm just going to... Thank you. No! No! Hi. Hi. Um, my name is Amanda. My Hi, Amanda. question is mostly for Robbie, but for um, Max and Ray as well. Um, as Moomin Rider, have you ever watched Common Rider or Japanese superheroes that are the inspiration for Moomin? I used to rent them from uh, in like VHS from the local video store in like the weird section. You know what I mean? Like it would be like Common Rider and then like the American knockoffs of it and all. Absolutely, it's that. It's that with not not say you. What's it called? Uh, say not saying. Um, Shonen. No. Uh, it's the name of the most recent Genji skin. <laughs> oh. it's, the, it's basically the Power Rangers stuff. Where right? you're Super Sentai. 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 Yeah, it's that sort of vibe of it, and I just love it. He just you, you would have been closer if you were like, what's hentai? It's not hentai. <laughs> <laughs> uh, hentai. Uh, sentai. 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 Yeah, yeah. I, absolutely, I watched it, and it's it's hilarious because. Just the creation of the characters making fun of that entire genre. Just a dude on a motorcycle. What was the one that Mark Hamill played the voice of? He was like, but he had powers? Guyver. Wasn't Mark Hamill the voice of that? Am I just making stuff up? I don't know. I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure I'm right. I'm looking it up. Okay, go ahead. Yeah, I've, I've seen him. Have you guys yeah, ever seen I have him? not seen him. Oh, come no, on. I have not. Cool. Thank, Thank you. you. Hello. What's your name? What's your question? Hi. Um... My name is Patricia, and Patricia. I have a question for all three of you. Let's do it. Um, and if you could answer as your character, Perfect. and completely ignore sexual preferences. <laughs> <laughs> that's a that's a big, that's a tall order. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. All right. Uh, P.S. Uh, Mark Hamill was in Kyber as Max Reed. We <laughs> <laughs> just cracked a screen. <laughs> um, before I ask the ask the actual question, I would just like to say. That Moomin Rider is awesome. Yay! Thank you. I was just wondering, uh, Puri 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 Saitama and Moomin Rider, 
Out of all the characters on uh, the One Punch anime, which characters you would uh, date, marry, or kill? Oh! oh, oh wow. That game is FMK. If yeah. I call it. Uh, date, marry, or kill? I'd kill Janos, because why is he always in my apartment? <laughs> Why'd you marry? Oh, I thought it was just who. I thought we were just choosing. Okay. You're playing a game. Oh, we're doing the whole game. Yeah. Date, marry, kill. Let's just say that tornado's out of the equation. It's only the one girl. It's only the one. Just take her out of the equation. Um, I'd marry my fist. And. Currently, I'm dating my fist. I'm in a committed relationship with my fist. Oh, that's a terrible quote for the internet. I think it's difficult for Puri Puri to ignore sexual preference. I don't know why you'd ask that. But I would date Lightning Max because his skin is so smooth. I would marry. That's canon, by the way. Speed of sound, Sonic, because his balls need some care after that cyclone. <laughs> and I would kill Blizzard because she's a girl. Mmm, <laughs> <laughs> writer would. Uh, so hard to top that. You did it in character. Uh, I think Woman Rider. Get into character. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm a calamari. Girl, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I would, I would, <laughs> I would uh, date a Puri Puri prisoner for sure, because uh, he would be just—he's so sensitive. Uh, I would definitely kill Genos. And uh, oh! sorry, <laughs> he's useless. And uh, I would marry the guy in the, uh, the, the, the in the dog suit. Uh, <laughs> just so I can have a, I just have a dog around. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we're running short on time. So at the white hair in the back, that'll be our last question. We'll do lightning round. Lightning round. Oh no, there's one behind. There's one oh, behind. There's one behind you. Okay, we'll get through the whole round. No, 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 that's it. That's oh, it. Yes. Okay, okay. Cool. Lightning round. All right, just just a question. In your in y'all's one punch character, uh, if y'all will have a choice of picking any game genre. What would those characters pick? Dating simulator. <laughs> um, fighting game. <laughs> Paperboy. An only paper. It's the only game he plays. Thank you. Hi, hi, I'm David. Hi. My name is David, and I want to ask if uh, Saitama punches himself, like what would happen? <laughs> like, An unstoppable ow. force meets an immovable object. <laughs> Uh, I don't know, is there an answer for that? I guess it would rip a hole in the space-time continuum and another dimension would form. We could just be like, ow. Uh, you, know those, you know those mirror, if you put two mirrors together and then you look and it's just a mil like infinity uh, reflections, it would just be him punching himself and like over and over and over again. I don't know, I don't have an answer. <laughs> I don't know what would happen. Mosquito episode cover that? Oh, yeah, yeah. Where he smacks himself? Yeah. yeah. He uh, but he doesn't punch himself. Yeah. Well, here's the thing. Uh, I don't know if he can fully use all his force because he's punching himself. If he punches someone else, he can fully extend his arm. You can't fully extend your arm and punch him. Lightning <laughs> <laughs> um, round! <laughs> Next question. Uh, um, I was wondering what happens if Rick from Rick and Morty. Goes, goes to the One Punch universe and yeah. like, you go at it. Uh, <laughs> be a challenge? Okay, take it away, Robbie. Ooh, I'm Pickle Rick! <laughs> I think that, I think... Yeah, damn! <laughs> I don't know, what are the stickler pieces? Uh, I think... <laughs> that's it, that's the rest of the panel, I'm just doing Rick and Morty words. Uh, 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 he's gone. I think Rick. I think Rick's the only one that can maybe give Saitama at least a little bit of a run for his money. Yeah. Take Saitama a minute to figure With out science. how to punch yeah. him. Yeah. Yeah. Good one. Yeah. Yo yo yo. Yo yo. yo. So uh, my question is to Max. So is it um like when you do Saitama's voice whenever um, you're doing a fighting scene 
Is it like underwhelming when you're going against characters that are like screaming and then he just does one punch and it's done? Like, uh, is it <laughs> underwhelming? I don't know if it's underwhelming. It's pretty fun uh, to, to have the uh, difference of energies between the characters. Um, not underwhelming. I do sometimes crave that dream sequence from the first episode where he's fighting the subterraneans. Um, but uh, uh, yeah, I, I do. I do sometimes want that to happen again because that was really fun to have him be sort of like this the entire time. Yeah, that was fun, and then that was over. <laughs> oh, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. One punch pop. Hello. Hi. Uh, I have a question. Yes. Do you know the anime Dangan Ropa? I've, I'm not. Heard I have heard of it. I have not seen it. I know of it as well. It. Saitama would win. Yeah, take it out. Got it. Just take it. We yelled at her. Take it out. Just take it out. She just takes the mic and runs out. Hi, Cheyenne. Hi, Cheyenne. Hi, in character. Um, in, in, if it helps. I'm a little Calabari, you know, you can say. <laughs> <laughs> uh, since y'all know Overwatch, I'm wondering, in character, who would your character main and who would they dress like? Oh, like who would it's, Saitama ooh, main? In, in what? In Overwatch? In Overwatch. Uh, I don't know. i tell you who I main. I don't know who they would main. Oh, Doomfist. Doomfist. <laughs> so Saitama would main Doomfist. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh... Max this. There's, and I, I main Soldier 76. He's really good. Too. He's really good. It's annoying. Who <laughs> um, would he dress as? Who would he dress as? Who would he main and who would he dress as? Hmm, I, I, I gotta think of what they're wearing. Um, does anybody have a cape? No. Uh, Anna, Anna has a cape, doesn't she? <laughs> sort of, <laughs> right? Uh, Robbie mains Diva, and uh, Moon Rider would main Mercy. He would just be, uh, please don't hurt me! Yeah. Just have uh, healing everyone! Yeah, he'd be the healer. Puri Puri would main Reinhardt. That's the other charge! Yeah. That would be perfect. And he dresses Diva. <laughs> Thank, you. Thank you. Thank you. You guys, we gotta pick up this lightning round. We have two minutes! You say Saitama wouldn't, like, would... Beat, beat anyone, yes. yes. But why is it he can't smack a mosquito? Well, he's not... <laughs> because he wants to uh, watch it suffer and use bug spray. Uh, so he hit it with the bug spray. Uh, Next question! Um, uh, why? Why wouldn't, uh... Okay. <laughs> Hi, my Hi. name's Jermaine. Uh, Hi, Jermaine. I was wondering if uh, all three of you guys, with um, your characters from like uh, One Punch Man, mm -hmm. how would you uh, dress um, uh, summer um, camp, uh, camp counselors? How would you dress as summer camp counselors? <laughs> no. Bicycle shorts for sure. <laughs> just bicycle shorts. <laughs> I would make sure the top is just tight enough. <laughs> flex, it gets removed. Uh, birthday suit. <laughs> thank you. Cool, thank you. Hi, I'm Catherine. Hi, Catherine. You made it. Last question. Um, I wanted to know if your characters had a favorite pickup line, what would it be? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Princess Puri, Puri just uh, picks them up in the hospital by giving them their, their shots, right? So it would be beat them up, get them in the hospital, and then say, It's time for your medicine. <laughs> I think mine would be, uh, you want to ride on my handlebars? I think Satama's would be, you like punch? Ah! I'm going to roll with the punch puns as long as I can. Did you guys and have a good time? With that, Oh, uh, it's not on here. Anyway, uh, let's play some music. No, that's not. Uh, we'll play this. Maybe this one. Maybe play this one. Oh, that's a fun. Oh, that's Skrillex. That's good. But come to Lava tonight at 10 o'clock in this room, you guys. Thank you so much. Six zero. Maybe Alina. Maybe just got.
Have a good day, everyone. Bye-bye.